Hey there, this is Ian, solution specialist at Candrone, and we are going to demo our Green Valley X3H LiDAR with the M300 drone and the LiBase GNSS receiver. We have, in particular, the LiBase. This is going to log GNSS data, and we're going to take the Rhinex file from this antenna and put it into the Lie GeoReference software when we process our point cloud. I've got the X3H from Green Valley. This is a beautiful remodeling of this LiDAR unit from a previous generation called the V70. It comes with a LiveOx Avia sensor and a 24 megapixel camera. GCP target down underneath the tripod. I'm gonna measure up the antenna height set my parameters in the LP1 base uh, handheld controller, and then we're gonna get logging. All right, we have our X3H set up on our M300. A Couple of things we have to do before we get flying. The first is review our mission, make sure we get everything we need in this area of interest. We also have to go into our X3H and make sure the configurations are appropriate for the kind of data we wanna to collect today. Once all your configurations are set, you can power down your laptop and head over to your LiDAR system, reboot it in order to activate all of the settings you may have changed. So to configure this LiDAR mission on the DJI controller, we have to head into DJI Pilot 2, which is the standard flying software on the DJI Smart Controller. So here in the main screen for the DJI Pilot 2 app, click on Flight Route and go into the mission. We set this one up ahead of time. To edit the mission, click on the pencil icon. Here you can drag the polygon around to fit your area of interest a little bit better. And you can select all the different parameters relevant to this particular mission. Another aspect of flying this unit on the DJI M300 is the RTK configuration. In this case, we'll actually turn RTK positioning off. That's because we'll use a PPK solution. The last thing to check as per our pre-flight safety requirements is to ensure we swap our batteries. At 43 and 46%, I'll do that swap now. Make sure that you are in P mode, as that's the mode that the controller needs to be in to switch over to autopilot and fly this mission. Once you are satisfied that your configurations are set appropriately for the flight, Press the save icon. Now we're ready to fly. Now as I ascend to cruising height, I'm going to conduct a little figure eight pattern with my sticks and do so slowly. This is the calibration for the X3H. When you land, Make sure you stop record with one short press. That flashing green will go to a solid green. Now that we're done flying, before we pack everything up, I'm gonna take this SD card out, head over to the laptop to do a bit of quality assurance, make sure the data is good before we leave site. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to drag the files from the X3H onto your desktop. And likewise, you're gonna to wanna to access the LP1 go through and find the Rhinex files from today. Remember, we have a separate video for understanding the workflow with this LP1 and the live base. Now I can see that even with today's wind, the drone stayed fairly steady as those flight lines are green nicely when I look at the profile view. I do this a couple more times, dragging that profile handle across all of the flight lines with GPS time as the color ramp and I drag along to see the interface of more of these flight lines. I can see as the points grade from one color into the next that they agree fairly well in vertical space. I'm pretty happy with this data set. I think it'll be usable. We'll be able to classify ground and get some good detail beneath this vegetation for our ground class. Well, we're all finished flying and our data is looking good, so we're gonna pack up and get out of here. Thanks for watching this video today. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content. And if you have any questions about this or any other products at Candrone, 
don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'd be happy to help.